Hi, my name is Florian Seffert and I'm a photographer. So recently I bought a new laptop, the Dell XPS 9570. Unfortunately, with a 4K display and since BIOS version 1.6, there are some issues with the color saturation on the 4K display. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how to solve this and set the right color management. So let's get started. Okay, this is my uh, desktop. So first what you should do is... Um, here, have a look and really update to the latest BIOS version for your uh, XPS 9570. Um, at the time I shot this video, it was version 1.8.1. Um, but our laptop has two graphic chips, that's the Intel UHD 630 and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Our problem has to do with the Intel chipset, uh, which is used in normal desktop mode. You also need to make sure that you have downloaded and installed all the latest Intel drivers through Dell's support assistant. Uh, sorry, my desktop is in German, but as you can see here, there are no more updates, uh, driver updates available. So what you should do first is go to the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store and then look up an application. This application is called uh, Dell Premier Color, this one, and install it right away. With Premier Color, you can set um, all different color profiles for your display later on. So I did this already. As you can see here, this product is already installed. So if you start the app, um, you can now define your basic settings. So if you first start it, there will be an assistant that guide you through the settings. Um, but in general, I can say that I have chosen the um, sRGB color scheme here for my display in normal working mode. Um, you can later switch easily if you are in Photoshop or in Premiere um, to the Adobe RGB color space um, if you need to. Click the Windows button or hit the Windows button on your keyboard and type reg at it. So now with the right mouse button you can open the application as administrator. So here we go. Now what we need to do, we need to search. So just hit uh, control F. And now we need to search for the for the key named white Gamut feature enable. So white Gamut feature enable. So here you can see the white Gamut feature um, is enabled. So of course I did this already, but you have to look up all the white gamut feature enable keys in where you registry and try to set them to one. Okay, the next step. After this is done, best is if you now do a reboot. Um, now we set uh, the right color profile for, for the display. Um, with the right mouse button, we say um, display settings and right here at the bottom, there's advanced display settings. So now um, we select the adapter properties for screen one. So screen one, as you can see, C is here for K display. And now we have this tab that's called um, color management. 
there's a corresponding button. So and now he makes sure that you that your right device is selected. For me, it's Bildschirm One, that's Germany for Monitor One. Um, and now, first of all, remove all profiles that are already in, and then click on Add. And now select um, or add the color profile according to your previously selected setting that you did in Dell Premier Color. So for me, it is um, this one, the premier color sRGB 6500. Okay, then click close. Last step, right mouse click on the desktop, go to the Intel uh, graphic settings. So there we have the display settings and then color settings. And now the end you have a new slider where you can set the uh, gamut level. Um, on the left side you have the natural colors, on the right side you have the uh, powerful colors. Um, if you cannot see this slider then restart your PC. Um, after that, you sh should see the slider. And now, if you move the slider completely to the left, and set natural colors, that and then the colors are not oversaturated anymore. So I hope that solves your color issues with the XPS 9570. I would be very happy if you would follow me on Instagram or maybe on YouTube. Um, in the future, I will do a lot of more. Um, photography videos and show a little bit of my journey. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.